Okay. Um, so I'm about to introduce our speaker. Um, for the purpose of this um, presentation, we're going to keep our videos off, so it'll just be on audio. But I'll just quickly present Fatima to you. So um, we're excited to have Fatima as our presenter. Fatima is a highly experienced midwife with a passion for teaching and research. She currently serves as a midwifery academic in the Faculty of Nursing and Health at the University of Ma Sorry, I'm going to apologize for my speech. Mamaya Budget um, in Indonesia. Alongside her teaching responsibilities, Fatima is pursuing her master's degree in midwifery at the University of Saya Yogyakarta, where she is conducting research on the critical topics of sexual reproductive health and maternal neonatal health in Indonesia. With a wealth of knowledge and expertise, we're eager to hear what insights Fatima has to share with us today. I am now going to sort of hand it over to Fatima, so give me two seconds. Thank you, Bella, for your kindness and sorry for the trouble. And thank you, Bella, for being my facilitator for this session. I absolutely honor will join and participate in this VIDM event this year. And thank you for everyone for coming for my presentation. I, I will share with you a part of my thesis master about decision making during pregnancy and childbirth in adolescents uh, scooping review. Before I start my presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is Fatima. I'm originally uh, from South Kalimantan, but now I am a student of Master Midwifery Program in UNISA Yogyakarta, Indonesia. I would like thank you to UNISA for support me in these opportunities. And I also would like thank you to my supervisor, Ibu Andari Wuri Astuti for her guidance and advice and for being my supervisor in my master research. I have working under her supervisor for some research and national project in Indonesia, especially about sexual reproductive health. Uh, adolescence is an important period in cognitive, psychological, and psychosocial self-development, and teenage pregnancy is one of the phenomena that exist in the world that has negative impact on the health, social, and economic. Teenage pregnancy is one of the conditions in adolescence that affect the developmental tasks of adolescents, including the ability to make decisions related to marriage and reproductive health. Women, including adolescents, actually have the right to make decisions about their health, but they have limitations in the role. The existence of gender issues and and position of women in the family as and also limitation in the access of health provider is also limit the role of women in making decisions and use of health services. Every year, an estimated 21 million girls aged 15 to 19 years old in developing regions become pregnant, and approximately 12 million of people of them give birth. That married please girl at increased risk of pregnancy because girls who are married very early typically have limited autonomy to influence decision making about delaying childbearing and contraceptive use. So the aim of this scooping review is to map the evidence and to explore the experience of adolescents who marry early regarding decision making, uh, how to process decision making in the family form of support, obstacle and also expectation in decision making. For the method that used in this cooking review, uh, this cooking review in in our research is refers to framework Axe and O'Malley, and for identifying research question, 
we are using the population exposure and outcome framework to assess in article search determine inclusion and exclusion criteria and identify appropriate research article in determining the article in accordance with the objective and research question we are identify several strategies in article including inclusion, inclusion and exclusion, exclusion criteria using article search databases and using medical subject heading truncation boolean operator and giving attention to the use of vocabulary in British English and American English for the documentation of the article research we are use a prism flow chart for the synthesis of the research article uh, we are carry out uh, using data charting was adopted from Joanna Bridge Institute including data about the author title year country objectives type of research methods sample size and result of the research for the assessment of the quality of article was carried out using the political appraisal skill program tool for qualitative research and the Joanna Bridge Institute critical appraisal tool for qualitative article. And this is the prism flow chart. Article search on several article databases and sites that's producing keywords determine of 10 to 1130 30 article and 56 article where exclude a stage of duplication checker and screening uh, a total of 2077 research article were screening extraction and assessment of the quality of the article was carried out on nine eligible articles. And based on the analysis of the time of the article conduct after data analysis, data extraction, and assessment of the quality article, the time of the selected article is identified being four main time. The first is problem solving and this is making process, influential factor in this is making, support in this is making during pregnancy and childbirth, and the last is expectation about this is making during pregnancy and childbirth. And for the first time about the problem solving and the decision making process, actually variant become the main factor that affect autonomy in decision making related to pregnancy in adolescent and often make the decision to have an abortion in teenage pregnancy as why out of the problem. But adolescent some but some adolescent have the ability to make decision related to pregnancy or to have an abortion on their own and the second term is influential factor in this making is strongly influenced by individual factors such as age financial autonomy the right to continue school family and partner support stigma, concern for the couple, family characteristic, the quality of child relationship with the parents, and cultural factor like fear, abortion, shame, religion, and culture, and the quality of uh, healthcare and healthcare system also influence this is in making during pregnancy and childbirth. 
Um, for support in decision making, um, mother and mother-in-law play an important role providing support during pregnancy, such as such as providing determining the place of selection, health services, place of delivery, resident, and fulfillment of nutrition. Actually, this is in line with the other research, with which states that older women have a big influence and role during pregnancy, especially issues related to the fulfillment of nutrition and determine decision in the selection of health services. And the last time time is expectation about the education and health services. Um, quality education help prepare adolescents to prevent risk reproductive health behavior and help determine health care when need. The existence of comprehensive sexual and adolescent health education in the school is expected to affect the knowledge of adolescents about the prevention and treatment of the pregnancy and also the existence of healthcare friendly health services for adolescents so they have the confidence to discuss sensitive issues with the health provider. And the conclusion in this grouping review is decision making during pregnancy and childbirth is strongly influenced by various factors such as individual, family, spouse, and adolescent couple who marry early often lose autonomy in decision making during pregnancy and childbirth. The existence of the education of adolescent and comprehensive gender and age-based health program provide to adolescent, family, communities through a cultural approach is expect to increase knowledge, abilities, rule, participation, and assist the adolescent in determining the necessary health services. And this is the picture when I, this is a photo when I take uh, data on uh, my primary research about decision making in the couple who marry early under 19 years old. And this is data collecting hold on suburban in Banjarmasin, South Kalimantan in Indonesia. And this is the couple is um, 18 years old. And based on data, actually South Kalimantan is the highest prevalence in child marriage in Indonesia at 2019. Hopefully next year I would particip participate in this event again and would present this result of primary research. Thank you everyone for coming in this session. It's over to you, Bella. Thank you, Fatima, for that beautiful present presentation. We are about to have some questions, so if people want to put some questions into the public chat. Um, I do have one first, Fatima. Could you sort of explain or identify what are the potential factors or reasons for loss of autonomy in decision making amongst adolescents during pregnancy and childbirth? Ah, thank you, Bella. Uh, for based on several studies that I had read, uh, it's a gender issue in the family and position of the women, age and also social culture is strongly influenced the ability of the adolescent for making the decision making for their life is especially about the uh, childbearing and contraceptive use. Uh, for example, in 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 my um in my participant in this uh, photo. Uh, they lose autonomy to make decision about uh, choose the place of the uh, delivery and lose autonomy to make uh, uh, breastfeeding. And uh, the mother is unsu unsuccessful breastfeeding. Uh, uh, so it's th that's the 
the the causes of the uh, couple adolescent couple lost their autonomy will lose autonomy during make uh, decision making during pregnancy and childbirth over to you bella beautiful thank you anyone any questions at all um, I'm curious, while we wait to see if anyone does have any questions, Fatima, about where you potentially see yourself taking this research further. Hello, Bella. Are you, are you there? Yeah. Sorry, my yeah. connection is... That's like okay. Where uh -huh. do you see this research going in the future? Where do you want to take it? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yeah. This is couple is... Uh, the woman is 18 years old and the man is 18 years old. They have... Uh, limitation making decision about their life and living in the mother-in-law house so the they also um less of knowledge about the baby care about the breastfeeding about the contraceptive use for um for the health and this is um actually uh, mother-in-law has a big role in their family and the couple is lost autonomy for making decision. That sounds like a hard situation for people to be in. Um, I, I apologize, I don't know too much about Indonesia and the sort of maternity, like pregnancy education, but I feel like your research could be important to informing education, like how you can improve um, like ways that we can sort of help people sort of get in there and learn a bit more. Do Is there any sort of channels where you could take your research to help people learn um, a bit mm -hmm. more, like improve their, their education around um, childbirth and pregnancy? Um, uh, for actually this couple in the, actually in Indonesia there are program for uh, during pregnancy, like, um, um what is it what, what is that um like um um senam what is that like um maternity class but yeah. this uh, yeah for uh for women and they have a uh, knowledge about the pregnancy and childbirth but this couple didn't come to didn't come to uh this maternity class because they're uh they don't have ability to come because they have a difficult position in the household and uh, gender issues and the mother will uh, strongly influence them and um, also the duties in the household limit the women to access to health services. It sounds like really important information that you've uncovered that be able to help mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah, mm -hmm. important sort of barriers. Um, is there mm -hmm. any specific maternity classes for adolescents? Ah, uh, no, it's it's joined with the other age with the uh, no specific class for adolescents. So this is to will be maybe will be come to being a stick during maternity class and uh, in a maternity class uh, there is a women with uh, pregnant in the age um, reproductive and also the uh, pregnant women in under 18 years old it's um i know i've been involved in some young mum sessions before where it combines mm -hmm. um, maternity classes yeah. with mm -hmm. their middle free checks for um, basically families that are sort of pregnant less than 24 mm -hmm. years old, um, which mm -hmm. is one of like a really rewarding area to work in. So mm -hmm. I do look forward to see where you take your research and see where mm -hmm. it goes. Is there anything else you'd like to add about your research? Sorry, Bella? Is there anything else you'd like to say about your research? Um, Did you want to add anything else that's important? Ah, yeah. It, the the couple is have had an stigma from the 
the from the other couple during during antenatal care anti, antenatal visit in the health provider and have the uh and also they 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 have a plan about the place of delivery but when the sign of delivery is come uh they actually um choose the other place to delivery cause the mother or mother-in-law uh, suggest them to um to deliver for other place like that Great. Um, I very much enjoyed your presentation, Fatima. There doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be any questions, um, but I did enjoy um, your session and learning a bit more about your work. Um, I will just, I'm just going to steal my um, presenter back from you. Mm -hmm. So if no one has any questions or anything like that, I can end this session, but there's just a little bit to go. So I'm just going to.